Hello everyone welcome back to World Football News. A drunk Ross Barkley gets booted out of an exclusive bar after having a row with diners, with witnesses speaking of the ordeal. The Aston Villa midfielder, on loan from Chelsea, was escorted out of the posh eat out by security after having a full-blown argument with those trying to guests and staff. The pissed-up Premier League player was seen and heard slurring and could barely stand, one witness said and they gave their account of what happened. The 27-year-old had been drinking heavily with a friend in the Mayfair Hotel in the centre of London before being kicked out at 8pm. He swung his arms towards a customer's face as he stumbled to the door and even squared up to a member of the five-star hotel security team. Barkley, who currently brings in £100,000 a week, left with this friend before they came back towards their table and were confronted by security and told again to leave the premises. Barkley again looked unable to stand and had to be supported by two men. As he leaned over his bright pink underwear was on display. The embarrassing situation was played out in front of about 100 people at the hotel's Mayfair kitchen, which sells Dom Perignon Brut Rose Vintage for £475 and a Chateau Leffert Rothschild for £1,600. A source told The Sun, Ross Barkley was wasted. I first spotted him arguing with someone before it really kicked off. Ross was politely told to leave. But they came back, stumbling around packed tables and really slurring. Then the security staff spotted him and they were escorted into the main foyer. It got heated. They were arguing. It almost got physical, with the bouncer just pushing them out of the way. Some taxis then refused to take him because he was so pissed. It was embarrassing. It was shocking that a professional sportsman and England star could behave in this way in public. Young fans look up to players like him, and it's really not on to behave in such a disgraceful way. Thursday evening's scenes came less than 24 hours after he was an unused substitute in Villa's 2-1 win at Tottenham. The ex-Everton star, who signed for the Blues for £15 million in 2018, has 33 England caps. Friends of the football player said he is ineligible to play in Sunday's last game of the season due to the conditions of his loan deal agreed by Villa and Chelsea. Last night Barkley's spokesman did not comment. A few months ago, Aston Villa's Jack Grealish and Ross Barkley broke strict coronavirus rules by having a day of partying with video footage showing the pair at a restaurant in London's Mayfair. The Sun, who have been slammed by fans online, report that they are seen in a crowded restaurant with other partygoers, who are in breach of the Tier 2 rule which states, you must not socialise with anyone you do not live with or who is not in your support bubble in any indoor setting, whether at home or in a public place. Witnesses saw the group downing champagne, vodka and beer at Bagatelle restaurant from around 3pm and into late evening. One diner said, you wouldn't have thought there was a global health pandemic going on. They were arrogantly partying without a care. Staff wore masks but Grealish and Barkley didn't. In 2019, 2019, Ross Barkley was escorted to a cash point by police officers to pay for spilling chips in a row with a taxi driver. The midfielder got mocked by passers-by who are said to have taunted Barkley after the millionaire player allegedly refused to settle the fare. Police were called to the incident in Liverpool recently and tried to calm down the situation between the 25-year-old and the cab driver. An eyewitness told the Mirror, it was just after 11pm on Sunday night, the 29th of September, and I was having a cigarette outside Hannah's bar. I saw a taxi pull up and there was a row between the driver and the passenger who was Ross Barkley. It looked like Barkley had spilled his chips on the floor in the back of the cab. He was refusing to pick them up and then refusing to pay. He appeared to be very drunk and was unsteady on his feet. The driver must have called the police because two police cars pulled up. Barkley kept saying, I'm not paying. I have no cash, I'm not paying. But eventually the officers then escorted him to a cash point down Hardman Street. He withdrew some money came back and handed it to the officers, they then gave it to the taxi driver and he just drove off. The chips had still not been picked up. If you like this channel don't forget to subscribe and share. Thanks for watching and see you on the next videos.